After that terrain derailment in ETH, Palestine, Ohio, local municipalities, they're reviewing their emergency response plans, making sure they're prepared for similar situations. Although our region has never seen an incident as severe as the Ohio derailment, local leaders tell Erie News Now's Ethan Kibbe it's critical to be prepared. We're always watching, you're always thinking. Every one of them railroad tracks has stormwater right next to it, and all that stormwater leads to Lake Erie where we pull our drinking water out of. It's always on our minds. Three sets of railroad tracks run through Northeast Township, shipping goods into and products out of the small lakeside town. They're crucial to the local economy, but they're not without risk as the nation saw this month in East Palestine, Ohio. It really scares you. Uh, you know, it's, it's, we're all volunteer here. Um, and when you look at that, you know, not only are we putting our lives in danger, but putting our family lives, uh, you know, we may not come home from something like that. God bless that nobody did, you know, get injured down there. But uh, the report of what was there and the evacuation area they had to do puts a lot of lives in danger. And you just got to step back and think about it. Now, the township, borough, and fire departments are reviewing their emergency plans, a preventative step to keep the community safe. The key to handling any emergency is having a good plan. So the township not only has a state mandated emergency response plan, it's also worked with Northeast Borough to develop a source water protection plan just to be safe. So that everybody knows when the time does come, what has to be done, when it has to be done, who's supposed to do what, all that stuff is always in place. In an emergency, the fire department is the first line of defense as hazmat trained firefighters evacuate the area and work to contain the incident until railroad response teams arrive. It's a crucial job, not only saving lives in immediate danger, but working to protect the region into the future. Well, there's a lot of resources around here between, you know, everything we have here, the grapes and everything, and then Lake Erie. Uh, Got to protect everything in the waterways, keep it out of Lake Erie. If it gets into there, who knows what could happen. So as the sun shines along the lake and trains race past, local leaders know how important both economic drivers are, and they're working to keep both the people and the region's resources safe. Well, if you don't have water, you don't have anything. I mean, that's the plain and simple of it. If you don't have clean water, you got nothing. Ethan Kippy, Erie News Now.